Are accents being erased by artificial intelligence? Are corporations trying to eliminate local cultures? These are some of the questions that are being asked as Paris-based company Teleperformance is using AI technology to do what they describe as neutralizing the accents of Indian call center employees. Quote, Teleperformance SE, the largest call center operator in the world, is rolling out an artificial intelligence system that softens English language Indian workers' accents in real time in a move the company claims will make them more understandable. The technology, called Accent Translation, coupled with background noise cancellation, is being deployed in call centers in India, where workers provide customer support to some of Teleperformance's international clients. As Deputy Chief Executive Officer Thomas Mackenbrock told Bloomberg, quote, when you have an Indian agent on the line, sometimes it's hard to hear, to understand, and that the technology can neutralize the accent of the Indian speaker with zero latency. The goal is to create more intimacy, increase customer satisfaction, and reduce the average handling time. It's a win-win for both parties. The AI technology being used was developed by a company called Sanus, whose website says, quote, experience the world's first real-time speech understanding platform with accent translation and noise cancellation. If you look at their website, they have examples that show what the technology does and how they claim it improves the quality and outcomes of the calls by minimizing or sanitizing worker accents along with helping to improve the audio quality of the calls. And if you look at their metrics, Sanus highlights things like decreased operational costs, higher customer satisfaction scores, faster handling times, improvement in first call resolution, and better quality assurance scores. Also, they claim that there is zero number of times that customers ask to speak with a different agent. All this sounds fantastic. But like with everything, we can look to another side, especially in relation to the impact of this accent cleansing and cultural sanitizing on the workers themselves. And in fact, none of this is really that new. Back in the early 2000s, there was fallout around Indian call center workers having to take accent training to sound more like their American or British callers. We can look back to a story from 2011 in The Guardian where author Shazad Nadim writes the following, quote, In call centers, management technologies penetrate to the very core of your identity. As I witnessed during training sessions, employees are told that the customer can see their smile and sense their mood through their voice. Workers must be able to pass as American or British and maintain their composure in the face of sometimes racist abuse by irate customers. It's simply part of the job. Further discussing this question of accents in call centers, author Binu John claims in an interview with The Times that the quote-unquote softening of Indian accents was more about necessity than prejudice. He says, Western customers prefer Western accents because it makes the interaction smooth and easy. Indians, too, love those accents, and anyone with a Western accent gets better jobs and income, so it's pretty universal. I mean... It sounds a lot like prejudice on both the callers and the workers' accounts in that they prefer Western accents over Indian accents and how they feel about those who don't have them. And that's the very nature of prejudice is to prejudge and they're being prejudged on their accents. Is it offensive to have AI modify someone's accent to make them easier to understand? Does the use of AI remove an authentic experience as well as an accent? Does the technology save the workers the pretense of having to pretend and let the technology do it for them? It is also worth noting that all of this is happening when companies are seeking to create environments where workers can bring their quote-unquote authentic selves into the workplace. Perhaps this means that your authentic self doesn't include your accent, or maybe you're expected to be a little bit less than your real self, maybe a slightly reduced version of yourself or sanitized version of yourself. A very nice article by Paige Grossman in Zendesk summarizes the topic of accents in call centers. She writes, quote, when talking about accents, we're tackling issues that are a lot bigger than how we each pronounce a word. And while the concept of unconscious bias may be familiar, it's tough to identify and recognize your own as they appear. To that end, we must strive to become aware of the surface level judgments we unconsciously make and take action to counteract those reactions instead of blindly acting upon them. So, should we be neutralizing accents or maybe changing our judgments about those accents? Is this technology a step forward in customer experience or a leap backward in employee experience? Does the fact that it's only changing the accent for the workers matter in terms of being equitable? What are your thoughts? Love to hear what you think.